Right, here's Sheila again. I'm now going to do um, part two of the, my visit to Fontmel Magna in 2008 in search of Daisy and Amber's ancestors who once resided there. So here's the tape continue with part two. I've always cut a few little pathways through the graves. I suppose there's a load buried under all this. A lot missing, I should imagine, of the old stone snow. Not see anything this day and age. Once the stones fall down, that's it. Something tells me I'm not going to find a lot. And one grave so far, which looks very promising. But that's what we call a new grave. Spicer, William Spicer, who died 18 something, or, uh, died 1899. Spicer family. It's all very hard to read as well. Barnes. Very gothic looking church because of that Victorian thing and the gorgoyles of wings. Look quite scary. It's a Christmas for all the Mirfields, oh, they must be at Shaftesbury. Kaiser Barnes and William Barnes. They all died in the 1870s. Hart. This is called a Living Churchyard Project. To help with wildlife. That's why they haven't cut it all. More hearts. I haven't got much tape left on this side. I'm just going to turn it off a minute. What a colour placa. Lichen and fun moss growing on these. Most of these graves are very covered up. John Haskell died 1886, age 40. Haskell family. H A S K E L L. There's a big monument on a big plinth metal inscriptions. Philip Sulkhead, Lieutenant of Bengal Engineers, son of Reverend Robert Sulkhead of this parish, born 1830 at Fontmel, died October 11th, 1857 at Delhi, wounded mortally in blowing open the Kashmir Gate, received on the Battle Cross, the Victoria Cross. <coughs> We've got Brigadier Radford, OBE, 1907 to 1989. Lemon family here. The Lemons Stacies. Oh, yeah, we've got another Mary Ann Rideout. 1908, she died. And Henry Rideout. Seems to have got a common name. He died age 78 in. 1775. Oh, I don't know, I don't understand that. Hicks and Hicks. There's a little brook that runs through the village, and there's a mill right opposite the church called uh, Water Mill Cottage. A lovely clear brook running by there. <coughs> right, I've just got to turn the tape over a minute. That's what happens when you haven't got the right equipment. Um, so here we go, this is carrying on side two. Oh dear, see what happens? Sorts of weird things when you're doing your recording, Daisy and Amber. Oh, I'll go into a few more details about everything when I've got time. 
Right, I think I'll stop there because that's I'm back at Portsmouth on that side of the tape. So I'll end here while I have a hunt round for more to do with Fort Mill Magna, although I think I only had a very brief visit um, to there. Um, it's a pity I really didn't take more notice when I was inside the church, but there was somebody cleaning and she didn't seem too keen on me being in there. But um, because there was more inscriptions of the of um, you know people that had been participated in World War One that I should really have taken more note of, but I can always do that another time. Um, so that's it for now. But there will be more recordings of other villages I go to, including Shaftesbury, Mockcombe, Gillingham. Um, I go to Blandford Forum even at some point, and of course Portsmouth. And um, so they will be on other tapes. That's it for now.